So what kind of a nurse do you want to be? Most people, including nursing students, have a vision of nurses that take care of patients at the bedside in a hospital. We all agree that nurses do not like to see their patients suffer, and they want to make their patients' lives better. And most nurses become nurses because they really want to make a difference. So what if you can make a big difference instead of just one person at a time? That's the power of a community health or public health nurse. They take care of populations. Let's meet Maria. Maria graduated about a year ago. She works at Major City Hospital on a busy floor and she loves her job. But she realizes that the patients she sees have one huge thing in common, mainly that the problems they have all could have been prevented. Like Ted, the 53-year-old overweight patient with diabetes in 7A. He has been admitted multiple times for complications related to his weight and diabetes. Currently, he has been admitted for a below-the-knee amputation, which makes Maria very sad, and she wonders if early detection and intervention could have prevented this major traumatic surgery and suffering. Maria knows how hard it will be for Ted who has been the primary breadwinner in his family and has worked for 20 years as a fireman. She wonders what his life will be like after his amputation. Maria also wonders how her role as a nurse could reach patients sooner so that patients like Ted don't have to suffer. So Maria starts investigating other possibilities for nursing roles and learns that there are many jobs out there in the community that she never thought of before. Maria learned that there are maternal and child health care nurses who visit new moms in their home to ensure that the babies get off to a healthy start and that high-risk new moms learn important child care skills. She discovered that school nurses teach children healthy eating habits at an early age and perform health screens to pick up early health problems. Maria discovered public health nurses work at the state or municipal level and often assess their whole communities to see what problems need to be addressed. They are skilled in epidemiology and know the latest trends in diseases like new cases of TB or a measles outbreak. She was happy to learn about occupational health nurses or employee health nurses who work in companies or hospitals and keep the employees safe at work and also screen to identify early problems. Although Maria had heard about visiting nurses, also called home care nurses, she didn't realize how very sick patients were when discharged from the hospital and what a difference being home meant to the patient, especially elders. They get better much faster in familiar surroundings. Maria was also surprised to learn about the high job satisfaction of hospice nurses who cared for patients at the end of life. She learned that there is a satisfying sense of closure in being there for patients and families whose goal is to experience a good death according to the patient's wishes. Maria also learned that some community health nurses work with grassroots advocacy groups or as a lobbyist and get involved at the policy level. After researching the numerous kinds of community and public health nursing roles, Maria concluded that nurses working in the community have a greater opportunity to positively influence their patients' lives. Community nurses can see the big picture and know how to advocate for their patients. But Maria's big takeaway was how many really interesting jobs there are outside of the hospital. And by working at the community or public health level, she can work to stop many serious problems before they begin. So, now that you've seen the light, where will you go?